So a month ago, I asked you guys to send me your OCs, saying that I'll draw them in my chibi art style. And actually, I wasn't sure if any of you guys would be interested, but holy! 44 responses in less than a week. How am I supposed to pick 5 out of 44 submissions? And you guys sent me so many cool OCs. It was actually so fun to read and look through the images y'all sent. So I hope you understand. And don't feel so down if your OC is not picked for this video. It was a very hard decision to make. But I'll draw these 5 OCs with something special today. My first ever pen display tablet. Yes, thank you to XP Pen for sending me this artist 12 second gen digital display. This is every digital artist dream come true to finally draw with a pen display. I'm sure you guys have heard of XP Pen before. I have been eyeing them for a long time, mainly because if I didn't have this YouTube channel, I can mostly see myself purchasing XP Pen products because of how affordable they are. XP Pen is that brand that's well known yet affordable in the digital artist space. It's everyone's go to brand if you're on a budget but you don't want to buy shady pen displays from Shopee. This particular artist 12 second gen display is only 250 US dollars, which is a good deal for a digital pen display. Like if you look at the well known pen display brands and you compare the price, this one's a good deal. I've used this for more than a month and there are so many plus sides to my drawing flow ever since I started using this. So let's start with the unboxing. This artist 12 second gen is 13.6 inches wide with an 11.9 inch screen for drawing space. This is available in four colors pink, blue, green, and black. I chose blue. There are these three in one USB C port with a full USB C to USB C port, power button, brightness. It came with this three in one cable, replacement nibs, artist glove, microfiber cloth to clean the screen, and finally this battery free pen. They also sent me individual goodies like this direct USB C to USB C cable. So if you own a Mac, you can skip all these other cables and just connect the pen display directly. They also sent me this cute, fancier looking glove. I was actually expecting a stand to come along with this, but there wasn't one, so I couldn't use this right away. Yeah, I could switch it on and all, but it felt quite uncomfortable to be using this flat on the table. It wasn't easy on my neck, so I purchased those laptop stands from Shopee. Let's start with the first OC. We have Raisu by Small Raisu. These are the images you sent me, very nice, lots of details. So this OC is my persona, but he has differences compared to me in real life. Canonically, his name is Raisu. My username is Raisu Lamau. He also has a small gang by accident. They mostly follow him around since he seems to be invincible every fight. He's just using his powers to be slightly more flexible to the average human. Oh, so he's not human. He's a chaotic little shit who fucks with people a lot or in general likes to make a situation more chaotic than it already is. For example, if there was a disagreement between people eating pineapple pizza versus the crowd who says to get rid of it, Rai is gonna eat it in front of everyone. <gasps> So he's that kind of guy. He's a shapeshifter, he has a very common form which is his human one and has yet to try to mimic animals or other creatures though he's been practicing his bird. He really enjoys wearing clothes and trying to be fashionable in his own way. Most of his clothes are secondhand as he loves thrifting though he leans more towards a god punk vibe in general. He hates cake, can't stand sweets. He also dislikes jump scares in horror movies or video games. Loves men and women and will switch for anyone of legal age. Very horny and is a degenerate who will be embarrassed the moment you call him out. And down here, details I mustn't miss. He has piercings, a lot actually. On his left ear, he has an industrial, a hoop, one stud and a cross earring. Though honestly, you can change what it is, he doesn't mind. On his right, he has two hoops and two studs on his lobes. He has a tongue piercing and a nose piercing. He also has two moles alongside his right under eye. Aside from that, minor design changes are fine. Wow! So many piercings. Isn't it a hassle to draw? I actually gave Dante piercings, you know, his earrings, remember? But I decided to remove them because I don't want to draw this every single time he appears in a panel. Too much work. And I don't even know any of these terms. I'll just refer to the images you sent. Okay, so I asked for your social media handle to credit you guys, but I kind of needed more visuals to help me cheapify your OCs. So I did what anyone would do. I stalked you guys. I needed more assistance, okay? Is this considered invading your pr privacy, but I just need to see more of Rai, okay? So I stalked your Twitter and I kind of found your Instagram. <laughs> I'm not a creep, I swear! But you did have a lot of images that I was able to look at and get a feel of your OC. Now for the pen display, what a dream come true. But I think my expectations were too high. I had this idea that a pen display will solve all my problems. Because what better way to draw than to have this direct method? But as soon as I connected this and sat down to draw, I realized that pen tablets and pen 
pen displays, they are both equally good. You know some pros of the pen tablet that you don't have with pen displays, while some pros on the pen displays you don't have on the pen tablet. But then again, sometimes drawing directly with a pen display gives you more control, especially if you are very particular with details like me. So the cables that came with this XP pen display was a little confusing because I was like, what's this red USB for again? They did have the manual, they mentioned what it was for, but everything was working fine with the other two cables connected even after installing the driver. I was like, is there a need for this red one? It's fine. It was only after a while that I noticed the screen brightness kind of flashing or blinking. That's when I realized that the red one should be connected to like a socket because the screen will flash that way if the power source which is your PC or your laptop is not sufficient to power up the pen display. Now this one came with a matte screen protector on which has been amazing to draw on. Remember my previous tablet review? That was a standalone tablet but the screen looked very reflective, remember? Well, it was also very glass-like to draw on and I wasn't a fan of that feeling. This matte feeling on this display makes you feel like you're drawing on paper. It's also not very reflective when I open my windows for some sunlight. As for settings, it was easy to set everything, the pen pressure, the screen workspace, all the shortcuts, but of course nothing can replace my Tourbox Neo. So all my shortcuts are on that and I didn't need to use the shortcut keys on this display. I guess this will come in handy if you don't own a Tourbox Neo. And ta-da! Raisu is done! Am I saying his name correct? Because I'm saying it as one name, Raisu. But then you spelled it as Rai and then Su. What do you think? Did I do him justice? I made him look cheeky and naughty. I hope you like it. Next OC, we have Tofu by Lucas Toy Store. A brown girl which I really wanted to draw. I've never drawn other colored characters other than myself. <laughs> so yay for a first time. She's very sassy, the type of person to send something back if it's not up to her ridiculously high standards. I can see all that sass. She values her sunglasses more than she values a human life. Well, she's got her priorities straight. She's that friend who would ask for money if you touch anything in her house. She loves the beach, can't get enough of it, clothes shopping and standing outside of malls staring at her phone. She hates shoe shopping. It's the only type of shopping she'll complain about. And she complains a lot. Popcorn ceilings is another thing on her hate list. She hates Pokemon. Pokemon bug types a lot, she's very flexible. And what not to miss? Her sunglasses that's got a heart crossed out on the right frame. And why is that? Does she hate love? What's the deal with that? Or is she ace? Now while I tried stalking Luca's toy store, I didn't really find other images of Tofu but I think this information is good enough. I had to draw this pose with all that sass, make her a curvy chibi which I've never done before. I did struggle with the hair cause I couldn't picture how to draw this hair with my style. Like how do I position it, position the bangs but I think the sketch came out nice. I really like her dresses, very form-fitting and those thick thighs. Yes. Tofu is 20 by the way so it's illegal for us to thirst. Now remember the gloves that came with this display? I actually had no need for them. I wore them in the beginning thinking that I had to but as time went on, yeah I didn't feel the need to draw with the gloves on because this is not touch screen so I didn't have to worry about smudges or anything like that. I will say though that the right side of the display does heat up and it can get hot so maybe that's where the glove comes in handy if you find the heat annoying. Also the matte texture I mentioned might not be comfortable enough for you to slide your hand across but I found it best to draw without one. I tend to rest the side of my hand instead of have it float above because I make my strokes from my wrist most of the time. And we are done with Tofu! Now my struggle with her is that I want to show her curves but because of this floof, you can't see her curves. But I think she looks curvy enough, right? Fancy enough. OC number 3, Cosmo by Jewel idiot? I didn't say that, okay. That's that's their name, that's their handle. Why would you call yourself an idiot? My OC's name is Cosmo, where's Wanda? Cause like for me, the name Cosmo is forever paired with Wanda. They're my childhood and he really really likes astronomy. He's especially interested in the moon and stars. He's not really a serious person, neither a goofy person. Kinda in between, he talks with his hands a lot. So since I didn't have much to work with, I went into stalker mode. By the way, I would have liked all of your art if I wasn't on my secret account. <laughs> so so, um, Julian? King Julian? Let's see, I had to scroll through a lot before finding a Cosmo art and this one was perfect because I could see his hair, his eyes properly. I mean, the image you sent didn't have much for me to work with but the animation is cute. I can tell he's a bright soul. Yeah, so I drew his chibi form based on this. I'm not invading anyone's privacy, right? Like, where else am I supposed to go to for more info? Yeah, take note. The next time y'all submit your OCs, give me as much information as possible. So one thing I didn't expect about upgrading to a pen display is how much it was going to change my workspace. As soon as I plugged this in, I had to find a way to position this display where I could still use my keyboard while drawing on this display. 
and my table does not have a keyboard area at the bottom so I couldn't place the pen display directly in front of me. I had to place it at the side. My chair is directed, it's like facing to the side and it took me a while to get used to this. Also I became too used to using the pen from the pen tablet as a mouse for years now. But now for this pen display, I use it as another monitor so I actually extend my display which means I can only use the pen in the window that I have on this pen display. For whatever that's on my PC monitor, I'll have to use my mouse which has been tough. Also because of the positioning of everything, my mouse is all the way on the other side. Yeah, I still have a lot of experimenting to do with setting up my workspace now that I've upgraded to this pen display. And here we have Cosmo. I hope he turned out okay. OC number 4 is Asayuki by Cookie Doll. Cookie, Cookie Duh. His name is Asayuki. I made him as a Genshin Impact OC at first but I got too into designing him and his backstory that I just decided to make him as a standalone OC instead. Yes, I remember you mentioned this in the comment section of my Genshin video. I mean, I... I hope this is your OC. There's only one Genshin looking OC that was submitted. If I were to describe his personality into existing character, I guess he's like Trevor Bellman from Netflix's Castlevania. Okay, nice description to work with. He's a drunkard, lonely all the time, but when he's with people he enjoys to be with, he teases them a lot. His talent is he can work for three days without sleeping. <laughs> well then, my talent is I can work for five days without sleeping. How's that? without caffeine. Yeah, I've never liked drinking coffee or any type of caffeine-like drinks. So all my life, I've stayed up for deadlines by sheer willpower. Anyways, he used to work as a mercenary but not anymore since he's currently working as a bodyguard for a certain lolly scholar, which I haven't designed yet. Oh, and the huge sword behind him is just a claymore from Genshin called Prototype Archaic. So when I first picked this OC, I was very excited because of all the details. I just thought it would be fun to draw all these details. But that is exactly what made me regret picking this. Too many details to chibify. You don't want to see the messy sketch of him in my sketchbook, okay? Also, I have trouble drawing long hair. My strands always look stiff. Even for this Asayuki chibi, his hair is squarish, right? Oh, and I did stalk you cookie duh for more reference hoping to see other art of Asayuki but I don't think I can show this here cause like it's mostly your cosplay pics so um privacy by the way you're such a talented cosplayer so as of this recording it's gonna be two months of me using this to draw I'm still trying to get used to this upgrade of mine it has improved my workflow tremendously like I said if you are very particular with details drawing on a pen display having this real time experience as you draw really helps I am still experimenting with the pen setting trying out different sitting positions, trying to find the best comfortable position. I will say though, I won't be surprised if all digital artists become hunchbacks in the future. I used to worry about my back because of the long hours of me sitting, but now I'm extra worried because of how hunched you'll find me drawing on this. So that's something for me to try and find a solution for, how to take care of my back while drawing. And we have Asayuki done! I drew him with this drunk, cute expression. Now you might be like, wait Josh, that's just four OCs. You said five. Ahem. <clears throat> I don't know how or why my brain thought I said four. So all this while, I picked, planned, sketched, and drew four OCs. It was only when I sat down to edit this video did I hear my unboxing audio, which I recorded before that, saying five OCs. So can you forgive me? I plan to do this again because I really enjoyed this. It's a good way for me to practice my chibi art. So I definitely will make it up to you guys the next time we do one of these. I'm sorry if you had hopes for a fifth OC. But thank you to all of those who participated. I hope I did your chibis justice. To those who didn't get picked, there's always a next time. And now I owe you another character. So the next time I'll draw six characters. Also thank you to XP Pen for gifting me this. As usual, I have something special for you guys. Coupon codes that you can use when purchasing XP Pen products. You can check out their other pen tablets, bigger pen displays. The link will be in the description. And I'll see you when I see you.